everyone. My name is Laura Brady. I am head of business development at Strive Asset Management. I'm very excited to, to meet everyone at the conference. This is my first time. So will be um, great to, to get to know people globally here that are involved in ETFs. So I started my career, you know, 16 years ago in financial services at Knight Capital Group in equities trading. So I spent about five years there and then moved on to Bank of America into the equities prime brokerage group and focused on covering institutional clients, sat on the hedge fund consulting team. And I actually, for the first time, started working with ETFs directly when I joined Strive about six months, six, six months ago. So I learned about Strive last summer. I was listening to a podcast where Vivek Ramaswamy, our co-founder, was being interviewed. And he was discussing this new asset management firm called Strive that he just launched that really focuses on excellence over politics, directly competes with BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard. And I thought, wow, I have got to Google that. I've never heard of Strive. I had never heard of this mission. I had never heard of you know, this type of ethos. And so after learning a little bit more and understanding, you know, the key difference between Strive and, you know, these big three firms that I mentioned is the approach to shareholder voting and engagement. So that kind of leads me into, you know, the second question here on, you know, what do I want to get out of the ETF Dynastia this year? So just to take a step back to, so, you know, very simple concept, you know, shareholder capitalism. So to own a share of a corporation is to own a piece of it and have a say in what it does. So just a little context to your little background. So for most of American history, the proxy vote was more of a formality. So corporate executives called all the shots. But over the last few decades, shareholders have just awoken to their power. And sometimes they use that power for good, re good reasons. But more recently, activists have realized that they can use the proxy ballot to pass shareholder proposals meant to advance social causes. This, this term ESG that we all talk about. So Strive's key differentiator here is its voice. So we've built a corporate governance consulting business competing directly against the duopoly of ISS Glass Lewis to focus on serving clients' financial interests, concern for social ESG agendas or political objectives by advocating, engaging, and voting in favor of maximizing shareholder value. So I would love to, you know, speak to this group who's, you know, a very diverse group from around the globe and get their opinion and viewpoint on shareholder primacy versus stakeholder capitalism. So, you know, think Milton Friedman, Nobel Prize winning work around shareholder primacy. And then lastly, I'll tell you something I'm passionate about that is not anything to do with ETFs or investing. So I grew up in a small town in New Hampshire, New England. And, you know, always played sports my whole life and, and specifically ice hockey. So I, I grew up playing hockey, ended up playing D1 hockey at Harvard, where I captained my senior year. Now a retired athlete, I love cycling. And so indoor and outdoor cycling. So I'm hoping we have, you know, some friendly Pelotoners out there that we can perhaps get, you know, a little bit of a spin as well over the weekend in a month. And I look forward to meeting everybody then. Thanks, guys.